Good day to you all and a warm welcome from Zimbabwe. My name is Mel Hood and I'm the Chief Animal Welfare Officer for Veterinarians for Animal Welfare Zimbabwe, BORS. A little bit about our organisation. BORS was formed in 2010 with the vision of creating a compassionate Zimbabwe where all animals are treated humanely and with respect to raising awareness and animal welfare standards countrywide. The scope of animal welfare work which BORS undertakes can be broadly defined under four main areas of operation. Our, invest our inspectors investigate cases of cruelty or animal abuse, and this includes inspections of abattoirs, surface animals, guard dog companies, pet shops, wildlife in captivity, etc. Our inspectors are appointed by the Minister of Environment and Tourism and are mandated under the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act. In the very south of the country, we have the Bike Bridge Donkey Health and Welfare Clinic, which is run in partnership with World Horse Welfare. We have a permanent vet stationed in Bike Bridge who deals with donkey health and welfare issues in the surrounding rural areas. He is also on hand to tend to any other animals which require veterinary attention. Regular workshops are also held to teach the community how best to look after their donkeys by raising animal welfare standards. In the west of the country, we have the Victoria Falls Community Animal Health and Welfare Centre, which services the rural areas on the outskirts of Victoria Falls town. There is also a permanent vet stationed here who vaccinates and treats community animals. Our fourth area of operation are our rural animal welfare clinics. These are held countrywide with a team of veterinarians and assistants in attendance. Sterilizations, vaccinations and walk-in cases are all attended to, as well as parasite control, treatment of disease and suturing of wounds. Rabies in Zimbabwe is transmitted mainly by domestic dogs and significantly affects humans with an estimated annual human death rate of 410 victims. Approximately 70% of the dog population of the country live in the rural areas where they have an average lifespan of only three years. Due to a number of different circumstances, owners have a very slim chance of vaccinating their animals against the disease. Dog vaccination coverage at present is around only 12% of the total population. Dogs are generally free roaming in these remote areas and often form packs, scavenging for food scraps at shopping centres, food outlets and schools. Attacks on livestock, especially goats and chickens, are common and unfortunately so too are attacks on people, particularly school-going children. Often, because of the distances involved and the lack of readily available human vaccine, many of the victims go without anti-rabies treatment and, sadly, a number succumb to this otherwise preventable disease. Many requests for assistance in vaccinating animals were received by BIBORS from communities throughout Zimbabwe. BORS identified the role we could play in assisting owners with better access to vaccinations. Our first rural campaign was held in early 2012 and since then we have been fortunate to attract more donors and have been able to expand our countrywide operations quite considerably. Numbers have swelled every year and in some cases over a thousand dogs have been vaccinated in a single day. Sterilizations were added when it became obvious that uncontrolled breeding was playing a large part in increasing susceptible dog numbers as well as causing a number of other animal welfare issues. At our rural animal welfare clinics, sterilizations and rabies vaccinations are carried out free of charge to the communities. These annual campaigns, which are held at a number of different sites throughout Zimbabwe, give often compromised communities an opportunity to access veterinary care and treatment for their animals, which they otherwise have very little or no access to. We are often fortunate enough to be able to use the facilities at various animal health centres around the country where Department of Veterinary Services personnel 
join in and insist, assist us with vaccinating the dogs. Owners who often have a number of dogs are extremely grateful for the services that we offer. In 2020, despite difficulties related to COVID restrictions and protocols, our veterinary team sterilised 677 dogs and vaccinated over 12,000 against rabies, travelling over 13,000 kilometres around the country. And all of this was done in a total of 29 days. Strict COVID protocols have been put in place, helping prevent the spread of this terrible disease, as well as protecting both our own staff and the people who have brought their animals to our clinics. So far this year, we have been fortunate to once again be able to continue with our campaign program and hopefully will again see an increase in the number of animals attended to. And they come in all shapes and sizes and ages and various means of transportation. Newsletters are sent are circulated with updates on our recent campaigns. This helps bring awareness to the importance of vaccinating against rabies, as well as helping bringing in some much needed funding. This is a record of our campaign site sterilization numbers and vaccination numbers for 2020. So far in 2021, we've successfully finished these campaigns and we've still got a few on the list to go before the completion of the season. Vaccination certificates issued to owners also give instructions on what to do should someone be bitten by a suspected rabid dog. Our increased awareness of rabies in Zimbabwe, as well as our strong working relationship with the Department of Veterinary Services led us to meeting Dr. Andre Kutze and the GARP team. We were fortunate enough to be included in their training workshop in 2016, where Bohr's staff graduated with both the Rabies Educator and the Animal Handling and Vaccination Certificates. This was also how we learned about World Rabies Day. Bohr celebrates World Rabies Day by holding a campaign on or as close to the date as possible. This gives us the opportunity to join in with the rest of the world to mark the global effort to strive towards the 0 by 30 goal. This year, our campaign will be held at Amiri Wildlife Conservation Park, our fourth visit to this area. We work closely with a number of wildlife and conservation organisations in a bid to protect wildlife, domestic animals and humans from the spread of rabies. Vaccination campaigns in areas bordering on national parks and wildlife areas play an important role in this respect. In particular, our indigenous painted dogs, which are listed as endangered by the IUCN, are in need of protection, as rabies has previously completely decimated several packs of this unique animal. Education pamphlets highlighting the danger of rabies, as well as the need to protect painted dogs, are handed out at these campaigns. At a campaign last year, held at various sites bordering on the Ghana Resort National Park, over 4,000 dogs were vaccinated in a combined effort. Boar's rabies work has been recognised by GARP at the annual World Rabies Day Awards. We have twice been recognised as runners-up and are very proud to have got this far. Finally, I would like to thank you for this opportunity to showcase our work in Zimbabwe. Thank you also to GARP for their continued support. We wish you all a successful World Rabies Day and let's hope that together we can achieve the zero by 30 goal. Thank you.